Hello and welcome to an introduction video of my open source pipeline Plex. My name is Alexander Richter, I'm a technical director and also the author of Plex. So when I talk about the open source pipeline Plex, what I mean with that? So one thing is the open source aspect, so open code. So everything I've done, I've shared with you, so you can change and modify uh, everything and see under the hood. The other thing is the MIT license where uh, you can use, modify and add to your liking and to your customizability. So it's free co for commercial and non-commercial use. And of course, last but not least, the pipeline aspect. So you have a shared work environment where you can pipe and combine tasks to an end result. The thing is, if you work on a project, you always have different tasks which should end up in a film, in a game. And how do you guide this project? And this is the, the reason for Plex and Pipeline in itself. So what's the basic idea? Of course, it's collaboration. So VFX, games and also animation films are like big projects most of the time, starting from one person to hundreds of people. And it's always a combined effort to create this kind of things. So you always share things with each other. And one thing you share are software and software settings. So if someone in the team opens Maya, everyone in the team should open the same version, use the same settings like resolution and FPS. And of course, the same thing applies for plugins, scripts, gizmos and shelves. And a lot of times you don't just work on one project, you work on multiple projects. So it would be great to have a guideline and also a root script path which combines all the efforts so everyone knows, uh, different from any project, like what to do and how to work on. The next part, of course, is the framework. So it's a base system to evolve for your needs. And this is the main reason for Plex. It's a ground up build for you to add your, your things to download plugins and scripts from the internet or add your own and have a collaboration framework where you can just add. So it's less about having a tool sets, a lot of imports and exports and whatnot, um, like scripts you have there. It's more about having a basic ground where you can evolve from that. And last but not least is the shared knowledge. Understanding the basics of pipelining is very important, especially if you want to start your project. There are things you need to agree on and need to set up so while you work on a project, everyone knows where to save, how to save and how to work on it. So we have basically four steps. One is the folder structure, the naming convention, the software pipeline and the script pipeline. The folder structure is quite easy to be explained. It's the basic setup of folders for your project and for your pipeline. So how do you set up your project? How do you name them and why? And this is the basic system which I provide and you can customize to your needs. The next wing thing is, of course, the naming conventions, like how the files are named, how the folders are named, and what is the difference between a work and the publish environment and what are the basic rules in naming your files and also naming maybe your assets inside Maya and inside Nuke. The other thing is the software pipeline where you agree on like how do you start your project software wise and where do you end and what's in between. So for example, if you have a modeling task and the next one is the rigor. So how do you give him your results? So for example, you can have um, Maya binary files and you know, okay, if I have finished my modeling, I will save it as Maya binary and the rigger will import it in Maya as a Maya binary. So these are the things you need to agree before you work on a project. And of course, this, the script approach. So for example, Plex provides a basic setup where you can build on multiple projects and sometimes override specific setups to create like your, for your needs and customize for different needs, but still rely on a basic setup without breaking everything every time you want to change something. So everything I told you now and will tell you, in the, tell you in the future are in my documentation, in my wiki of the GitHub repository. 
on one side, the whole pipeline aspect. So how to build up pipeline, all the folder naming convention and software pipeline stuff, but also like how to work with Plex, how to set it up and all informations you need to know to create your own project. If you're interested in that, you can also find my FMX talk on YouTube, where I explain in more detail why I did Plex and for what purpose it is. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoy to work with Plex and can create great projects with it. So stay tuned for my future videos and I will see you later. Goodbye.